Eins. In this video, I'd like to talk about radical notation and fractional exponents. Um, let's look at this. We know that this is a radical symbol. This is the radicon, and this is the root index. And it says that it will, what number multiplied by itself uh, equals the radicand. Now, many times uh, we see to the second root index just as a square root, but 9 times 9 is equal to 81. Or you may have a radical notation like this. Here's the radicand, the radical symbol, and the root index is 3. So what mu number multiplied by itself 3 times equals the radicand? Same here, 27. What number multiplied by itself 3 times is equal to 27? However, another way to notate this is using a fractional exponent. This can be rewritten as 8 and the exponent 1 third. 27 can be written with the exponent 1 third. And then this, 16 to the uh, fourth root, can be rewritten 16 in the exponent 1 fourth. So let's take a look at what these exponents are telling us. And the first example I would like to look at is let's look at 16 and the exponent 1 half. So that tells us first let's rewrite, use the radical symbol. The radicand is 16. The power, the top number, tells us the power of the second number is the root index. And so this tells us that it's 16 to the first power in the root index of 2. So what number multiplied by itself twice is equal to 16? And I know 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Let's look at another example. We have 27 and a exponent of 1 third. So I'll write the radical symbol. The radicand is 27 to the first power. Root index is 3. And I know that 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is equal to 27. Okay? So sometimes you may get an exponent that looks like this. You may get 8 and 2 thirds. So what do we do with this? Well, first let's write a radical symbol. And there's two ways you can look at it. First, we know that, that it's the power of 2, so we have 8 to the second power and a root index of 3. 8 to the second power is 8 times 8 is 64. And what number multiplied by itself 3 times is equal to 64, and that is 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is equal to um, 64. But another way you can solve this, which personally I think it's a little bit easier, is just like this. Take the radicand, the same root index, but you'll take this answer to the second power. So you'll see it works the same. So first, what number multiplied by itself three times is equal to eight, and that's two times two times two is equal to eight. So I have the cube root of eight is two, and now I square 2, and that is 4. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and work one more example, and that is this. How about 16 to the 5 fourths? Okay, that's an exponent. It should be up there a little bit. So I'm going to write the radical symbol. That's 16, okay? The root index is 4, and I think it's easier if you just solve this one like this. This will be to the fifth power. I know that... 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. And then 2 to the 5th power equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 32. So there we go. That would be this number to the fractional exponent 5 fourths simplified is 32. I hope that helps with radical notation and fractional exponents. Thanks for watching and Moving Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.